Hello everyone, welcome back to Celeste Gallery Collab. Last time we did this amazing level as well as another amazing level, and today we're gonna continue exploring. Maybe find another Grandmaster level, we'll see. Look at this place, this house, or community building or something. It's cool, we've done this one already. I remember. Have we done that? I think we've done this one. Yeah. All right, I gotta go somewhere I haven't been before. Also gotta fully explore... Explore the lobby. Anything secret up here? <laughs> I thought there's a level up here. Oh, no, we're we're still... It's lobby stuff. I haven't seen a level in so long. Here's a level. This one, I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for a Grandmaster today, so I'm going to save that one for another time. Neat little plant up here that retracts its fronds. And this reminds me of a book series I'm reading. The Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. Book 5's coming out in a month or so. So I decided to reread the whole series. I have gotten so much out of it that I didn't get the first time. Because I, I was a kid when I started reading the series. Now as an adult, I'm like, oh wow. So yeah, if... Um, if, you, if I have one Brandon Sanderson book to recommend, it is The Way of Kings. And then if you, if that's good enough for you, you don't have to read anything else of his, because he's he writes a lot. He's got a lot of books. The Way of Kings, absolute masterpiece. And it, do, it do, does work as a standalone, too. We'll be doing that one a little bit later. Nope. And this one, I'm finding all the ones that are not Grandmaster. This lobby might be bigger than I thought. I think I found the ceiling. No, oh, can't get up there. This looks foreboding. Grandmaster? There we are, covered with dust. That's what we're playing today. By Riffs, Music Life Formed, Naming? They named this level? Maybe the, maybe the naming means more. I like it, it's gray. I have a double jump. I have a dash and a double jump. All right, we're gonna have some challenging challenges. Is there anything down here, Barry? <laughs> I had to see. All right, let's try. Nope. Let's try jumping. Hmm. I'm having trouble already. I'm just, just going into the dangers. So I think I have to to do a reverse wave, then jump through, and then not hit the spikes on the far side. Okay, a low jump might might be better. All right, let's take a look. This is Grandmaster, for sure. So then, we've done a reverse hyper, and we could dash down onto that spring. Um, yeah, we dash down on the spring, dash right immediately, maybe demo, and jump out of the dash uh, with a failed super. Uh, uh, I'm scared, guys. This level's scaring me. <laughs> yeah, if we dash right immediately, then jump out, then we hit the spring, we'll have to dash... We'll have to dash down right immediately. But that'll put us past the crumble block? No, maybe if we do it immediately, it'll put us right on the crumble block, and we can slide off. Uh... But no, maybe we want to... Maybe we want to jump off. Or maybe we want to slide and then use our jump. And then we we have to hit this spring, but then dash right immediately and do, then do a hop. 
dash right immediately and get a super but a short hop so we don't have those spikes and grab this as it falls and jump around and hit the spring on its way down i'm scared of this level guys it looks hard huh well i can jump i was thinking i need to get a failed super there it'll be really convenient as if this spring gave me a double dash and i could dash to the right and then dash up oh uh, i guess i can i can hang out right here Okay, I got it once. Alright, I think I got the strat. I think I figured out why this spring is here. Alright, there we go. I was wondering if we got our jump back. We don't get our jump back after spring, so I wondered if we got it back after touching the ground. Okay, time to figure out what I do from here. That might work. No. Oh, I might have saved it too late. Right, you don't get your dot back from hitting a spring. So I think I need to... I think I need to... I think I need to dash straight up into the spring. Ugh! I think... I think I found a way to salvage the save state. <laughs> there we go. Ah! And this is weird because it, it's not quite buffer, but it's... If you're buffering, you have to you have to hit it high enough that you don't hit the lower spinners. Or no, we can get a super or a demo hyper. All right, got it. Oh, this level's gonna be hard. Made it! Yeah, spring hypers for the win. I pressed. I pressed my dream hyper button that does both uh, demo and jump at the same time off of that last spring. And I feel accomplished after that room. It's only gonna get harder from here. I think I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave it for another time. See you soon. I'm back. It's time to try some more of this crazy level. Okay, how do I start here? Oh yeah, I have a jump. Hmm, something like that, I think. Oh, I get another jump. Nice. Something like that, then. All right, so we want to get up to this crystal and then probably do a dash right and then a down right slide through. And then... Hmm, or no, maybe we want to do a down right and then a Gultra. And that will help, that will let us slide through. We'll finally use the, uh, the failed Ultra go horizontally from a downright diagonal. Okay, that's just a Goltra. Okay, forget what I said. Alright, then we jump into this and, uh, what? The dash down right immediately? Very soon. Dash down right and jump so that we can, uh, cling to the back of it and jump off. Well, then we won't have any more jumps or dashes. Uh-oh. We'll find out. Somehow we get over here and we run into the wall. It falls. Oh, hmm. Looks like we might not be able to get that spring. No, we, of course we do. We grab this wall. It falls. It springs us. And as it springs us, we do a wave off the top or something. Uh, we... We dash right and then jump to the end. Um, I guess we're going down. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Doesn't, it's not too long. Shouldn't be too bad. Well, I mean, these techniques are very difficult. I am feeling the Grandmaster right away in this one. Hmm. There we go. That works. That is it. That is it. Do I spy a spot where you can wall bounce? Hmm. So I can get up there without using my next jump. I got an idea. Eh, that's, this is one way to do it. 
Yeah, it looks like we can reverse hyper off the top of that. Oh no, I don't have my dash back. Hmm. Is there another platform I can land on? I don't think so. Oh wait, I'm getting a second jump? Oh, sometimes I must be jumping off of a corner. That's a good question. Are there any corners I can jump off? Not really. I gotta get on top of the block somehow, right? Get my dash back. Okay, let's look at this. We cannot land anywhere. That's for sure. It looks like we want to get a reverse wave off the top of the block as it's falling. However, that's gonna be a, a not easy. Not easy at all. Because, I mean, I can get to the right side of this block. Um, I can slide through and not hit the spring. That is possible. And if I jump around and attach the back of the block, I can jump and then get a reverse wave off it. I guess. But then what's the spring for? Uh, well, that's something else I can do. Nah, I don't think I can hold there. I was gonna try to climb jump up. That seems not to work. I think I might look this part up. Okay, I looked up several playthroughs, one of them which had inputs, and it looks like they get on top of the block and they do an instant hyper. So they get on top of the block as it falls, and they don't press up and they don't press climb. So they're kind of sliding against it and the block is going down. Let's let's see if it works as I think it does. Yeah, something like that. It it works. It works. I do not know if I would have thought of this. Cause I'm like, I gotta climb jump. Like I, I got I have to either climb or climb jump if I'm on that side of the blocks. I never would have I didn't think of sliding and letting the block slide past me. Alright, so then I just have to do something similar over there. Hmm, what do I do over there? I gotta see, so the block is falling, and I think I gotta spring off of it, but then I can't touch anything else? Or do I jump around it? No, I need to spring to get my jump back. And my dash. No, I only get my dash back. I don't have dash or jump. Here's an idea. What if I spring and then I do a reverse wave? I Do I get my jump back when I hit a spring? No, I, I don't. I don't get my... I don't get my jump back. Oh, but I just have to go to the right. There we are. That's how it's done. Let's go. Yeah, made it. Ha <laughs> Also, the videos suggested that this level's really, really short, so uh, we might be... Might have only one or two more rooms left. Contrast that with the first and second Grandmaster levels I did. Huh. It's a lot of fun. It's very challenging. So what do we want to do here? We want to go through there, hit the spring dash down immediately, dash right, and then down right into, um... Well, maybe, maybe we want to... Hmm. Maybe we want to do an insta-hyper into an ultra, and an ultra off that block. No, no, I don't really see how that would work. Well, maybe. We'll experiment. Anyway, then we're over here, and we can probably dash up left in the spring, and then we want to do a dash to the right to this spring, and then another dash to the right, probably. And, uh... Land on top of this block? Maybe? Oh yeah, we have, we have a jump. Right. Anyway, so somehow we use our dash and jump to get, to, like, get a wave off the top of this block or something. And then we come down here, probably dash down or fast fall or something, get to this spring as it's falling, and then we're over here. And we do our, our uh, dash into there, and then jump up, and then climb up, jump over and jump, and then uh, we need to have something left over. Anyway, we figure something out. That's how it's done. We figure something out. Best strat of all time. 
I'm still I still have the spring so if I try to dash right too fast it it doesn't let me jump ha huh. if I jump the spring I'm trying to jump to the right but the spring latent spring energy points me to the left hmm Yeah, it seems that just dashing there a bunch is not the way to go. Oh, I thought it was in a bino. If I hold right after that spring, it just keeps me going down. What if I just miss it? What if I just don't trigger it? Hmm, now I'm hitting the spinner. It was working before. Okay, if I don't, if I hit the bottom of the spring, it works. I wonder if this is intended. I wonder if that first spring is a red herring. Okay, I can get through there if I do an insta hyper in the air. There you are. Okay, so once I get over here, I have to hit the spring. That's for sure. So do I dash up immediately, maybe? If so, I don't know if I can land on that platform, but if I can, then I can instantly jump dash to the right. But then the platform will be falling. So, another possibility is I hit the spring, then immediately dash up right, but I'm pretty sure I'll hit spinners. Yeah, upright is, does not work. Right works. That might work. There we are. I don't know if that'll work. I, it might work. Yeah, that totally works. All right, well, I found a way through. I don't know if it's intended, but it's my way. Made it! Ha <laughs> ha Alright, there's another room, but I am... Oh, it's the last room, too. <laughs> very last room. It's very short level. Tough as nails and very short, but I am busy, so I'll have to come back another day. See you soon! Alright, I'm back! Let's finish this level. So I popped in, and uh, for whatever reason, I practiced a little bit before uh, hitting the record button, and I discovered you can do this. So I think what we want to do is this, nope, that, but we want to actually hit the double crystal. There we go. Um, for some reason there's a double crystal, maybe, oh, here we go. No, no. I mean, we could just hit the double crystal and then we get over to the right with a double crystal. So why is there another crystal? Who knows? Let's check it out. It's going to be a big long room. So we go over here. We have a double crystal and a jump. So, um, hmm. I think I see. So we want to do, hmm. No, I don't see. Okay. We, yeah, we have a double crystal. So we use one, we use a jump and our do and one dash. And then we do a reverse wave off of this platform into an ultra. And then when we get that crystal, we do an instant hyper to the right. And maybe we land on top of this as it's falling? No, we'd go underneath it. Um, it kind of feels like we have to land on top of it, though. We jump off. And then we dash into the spring, dash up right into the spring. And then uh, at the top of our spring, we do a reverse... Uh, do the... What, what's it called? Reverse Air Hyper Ultra onto the top of this platform. And we do a jump, and then we dash again. We have to fall into the heart. It will bounce us, and we'll get our dash back. And then we dash into the heart. Um, oh, it looks like we need to get a buffer heart thing. Because if we just dash into the heart, we'll hit those spinners. All right, cool. Uh, I cannot practice that part of the level. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm comfortable with it. 
Now I'm confused. Well, here's another idea. What if I grab the top of that platform and then I jump off and then I do a reverse air hyper into the crystal? Well, that's clearly not how it's done. I mean, I can get over there and I have my double crystal and I'm, I'm not using my double dash. I'm confused with that. And I can do a reverse... Well, here's the thing, here's the problem. When I do my reverse wave, regardless of how I'm there, I, I don't have my dash still. So I end up getting to this crystal without another... Well, that's fine though, right? Because I'm supposed to just uh, instant hyper to the right. Why do they give me a double dash? Yeah, that's that's my thought, right? I'm not even utilizing this double dash. Yeah, I could just I could just freaking do that. All right. I mean, I'll just continue doing it that way because it's simple. All right, and then I gotta gotta do the reverse ultra thing, and yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, do a jump first. Man, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this beginning part. It should be easy, it's just a reverse demo hyper and then a, that thing. Oh, gotta hit that ice wall on the left. I keep also going above that platform. Dang it. <laughs> And this is taking much longer than it should because we're just having so much trouble with, with that beginning part. It shouldn't be hard. Like that! Ah! And that! Guys, I just got bad at Celeste. I can't do this simple, simple movement. There we go. Ah, so many deaths are just from messing up this part. Which is a... How? I know how to do it. I know exactly what I'm doing. Why are my fingers not doing it right? Ah! You know, part of it is, there's no one way for this platform. So you have to get the demo hyper, you gotta do it perfectly. Or maybe it's supposed to be set up for you to do a reverse wave, but there's a spinner on the corner. Still, it feels weird that it is so... I'm having so much trouble with this part. I mean, I think that I I should be getting to the heart every single time, or every other time. But no, it's this part right here that keeps getting me. I know exactly what I need to do. And just sometimes, sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Yeah, I'm not- I feel like I'm supposed to wall bounce off the heart. I've tried that a few times. Oh, I think I know what's happening. I'm dashing straight left at the crystal- or straight right at the crystal because I'm buffering it. You can't buffer it, because if you buffer it, then you... I, I mean, okay, well, I'm, I'm buffering a button that's an instant hyper. So that. Because it, it's mapped to both demo and jump. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing it, but I'm buffering it. So I use my jump and then the crystal gets collected. And so I dash straight right. Okay, so I pressed my Insta Hyper button on the heart that time, and it didn't work. So, I'm pretty sure I also did one diagonally from the heart. So, over here, it looks like... So, it almost kind of looks like you could do a diagonal dash. But not really. What if I... What if I, like, slide down and move to the right and dash straight up when I touch the heart? Then can I get underneath the overhang? I'm pretty sure what's intended is a wall bounce. But I haven't found the time to jump after it. Okay, so if you hold right sliding down, you can't really get underneath. That's what I assume I get from that. Oh, so you can go diagonal. Got it. <laughs> All right, nice. 
Were there any berries in here? No berries. All right, so that was a really short one. Uh, someone's doing work outside. I hope you can't. Hope it doesn't bother you. Outside my apartment, hammering nails and stuff. What I'm gonna do, since this is a very short episode, I'm gonna do a little bit of a bonus. And I'm going to run back. One of you guys told me there's a moonberry in one of these levels I did first. It might have been the, the very first level, so I'll hop right back to the beginning. Don't remember where exactly I went first. Maybe up here? Nope. Yep. <laughs> Here it is, Bloom Wanderer. Alright, so where we're... So we have no dashes, we gotta get to the end. Where is... There, there's the berry. Um, the end... Don't want to do the whole level again. The end would be over here. Right? Or not? Nah. Maybe that's not what you're supposed to do then. There's a, a dash somewhere. Okay, dash is in this room. Are there dashes in the previous room? There must be, because I can't get up from here. So I don't know, don't remember where the dashes start. Let's check them, I guess. Yeah, I think I must need dashes by here. How about here, do I need dashes? That part seems doable without dashes, but what about this? Oh, it is. Well, I can walk in here and... I need dashes. It cannot be done without dashes, so I'm too far ahead. I think I need a dash here. Yep. There we go. Dash! Okay, here we go. Here's where we start. Now we gotta go back. Back to the beginning. This is the wrong way. I don't exactly know which way I'm going. Maybe left? This way? No. This way? No. Where am I going? Where am I? I gotta go down. Okay, I see. Now, this is awkward. Not down there.
down here. Okay. Um, these are supposed to be open. Uh, um, so, uh, I guess I have to, uh, take a shortcut. Right there. Alright. These are supposed to be open, so I'm supposed to be able to come down here. And then... Not up, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, down. Nice. Alright, now I'm supposed to be able to get through here. And I put myself... I'll put myself there. Actually, you know what? I'll give myself a key. Alright, key, thank you. And now I'll hop right back into here and unlock this door. Do it how it's intended. Now where do I want to go? The left, probably. No, that's where the key is. Alright. Uh, where am I going? Down, probably? Nope. Where am I going? To the right. Okay. Alright. Kind of weirdly set up for backtracking. Well, there's a, a thing that says go down. Ah, I, I, I should not have followed it. E. Ah. I don't know if I'm supposed to go that way. Made it. <laughs> nice. This must be where it is. Yay. Haha. <laughs> Moonberry. All right, cool. Do not save. All right, and that was the little bonus for this episode, Bloom Wanderer. It's going to be a shorter one today. We did a short level. It was Grandmaster, though, so I'm going to leave it as just one episode. So that's going to be it for today. Remember, the Patreon poll is open, so if you want to see me play a long and easy level, could be from inside a collab, just not spring collab, because I'm going to do that next year then head over to Patreon and let me know. I will add your suggestion to the Wheel of Names and spin two of them. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Celeste maps and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.